ability in light of our governor having reinforced by veto stricter regulations against the existing companies. I've got an application that I know the NTA has been working on that was filed in, in August of 2014. And in that time, when my guy wants two cars, two new companies come in, basically buy a new statute, a new chapter of statutes, because they know they can't pass under existing ones. And not only do they get that, they get the regulations, and now they get authority for 9,500 new vehicles to be put on the road. And in that time period, under existing regulations, I can't get two cars on the road. And I know it's not from the NTA and the staff here. We've reiterated that many times that you guys were kind of strung out based upon what was done legislatively and by the governor. And I hope that, unfortunately, these comments will really ever hurt, um, get to those people. But I just want it to be said that um, I'm kind of embarrassed by a legislature and a governor that can't get the two hands together and make something right. And it's unfortunate to the existing companies, it's unfortunate to the traveling public of Nevada, and it's unfortunate to the small businesses that want to start up um, because they've just basically been erased. So I appreciate, and again, um, you know, uh, I want to make sure that um, I've always had the utmost respect for the NTA and what they've done. Um, and uh, I think you guys have done as much as you can as what you've been given. Unfortunately, uh, I think those that handed you uh, handed everybody a lot.